need you. I need you to pause with me. I need you to pause with me. You can hear me. I need you to pause with me. Let me try it the other way. We doing all right tonight? I need you to pause with me for a moment. Whatever your faith is, Whatever your belief is, bow your heads. I ask Reverend Stallworth to give us a moment of silence, some words. Rev, I don't think I can hear you. I don't think I can hear you. Right here, that's why. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that you have spoken tonight. You have spoken to your people. Thank you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, how are we feeling tonight? Which part? We were in this room. We were in this room. Uh, a little over a month ago together, many of us. After months and months of hard work. And it was said that at that night, Bridgeport came together. Every neighborhood spoke about change. And that night, in the primary, they said, we made history. But tonight, Tonight, we've not only made history, but we've defined a new course for this great city. I can't even start. I can't even begin to thank, to look out at the sea of faces and to pick people out to say thank you. Because What started is a dream it was filled by so many individuals who also shared a vision and a dream for a better Bridgeport. So thank so many people, but let me thank my family especially for putting up with me, bearing with me, and being so supportive through this process. Would you help me with a round of applause? children and my brothers and my sisters and nephews and nieces and so many. And I consider us all family. Tonight we more than decisively, we overwhelmingly by what seems like a margin of perhaps two to one over our next closest challenger. Receive the support from every section of this city who really made tonight a historic win. You know, some will certainly call this a, a comeback story. But for me, this is a city I feel I never left. I never stopped caring about the challenges that people face in every neighborhood. I never stopped thinking that maybe one day we could begin the work that we're going to begin today of moving this city forward again, picking up in many ways on the great things that we are working on together.
is when I did return and went to neighborhoods and talked to so many people, I realized we needed a new direction. Taxes were too high, crime was out of control, our education system needed improvements, and people in Bridgeport needed jobs. And of course, there is an element of redemption in all this. In the truest sense of the word, it's not a distant or philosophical or religious redemption. It's real and it's human and it applies to every one of us. And I look back at what, why we're really here, why this was possible. It was certainly the hard work of so many people here over this campaign, but it was the work that we did together over the 12 years when we were moving this city, holding the line on taxes, reducing crime, creating jobs, and improving education. That's why we're here tonight. That's what this victory is about. To all those that are clearly part of our team, I ask you, as we did after the primary, to extend a hand and welcome those that saw fit to fight for another cause, that thought maybe there was another leader or another direction, and ask them to join us, because the work and the challenges to face this city, we know them well, and we need everyone to move this city forward. Nick Paletto's here, the state chairman, who spoke on behalf of the constitutional officers. Nick, thank you and all the constitutional officers you spoke of. I look forward, as we do, to working with them for a better bridge for that works for everyone. Thank you, God bless you.